In this tutorial we will show you, how to generate a dynamic data table, which allows you to sort the data, by column. We added Bootstrap 4 to our page, and created a simple layout. First we need to set up the server side data. Open the server connect panel. Create a new server action, and add a name for it. Now we'll show you, how to set up the dynamic sorting options. Note, that if you don't need the sort options for your table, you can skip this part. Open Globals in Action Steps panel. Right click Get, and create two variables. We call them, Sort, and Direction. Now, right click Steps and add a database connection. Load your database connection or set up a new one, if you haven't done this yet. Then add a database query, after the database connection. And set up the query options. Select and add your database table. Then, add the table columns, which you need. Open the sort options, to set up the dynamic sorting. Note, you can skip this part if you are not going to use the sorting options for your table. Add a random column to the sort list. And click the dynamic data picker button. Select the get variable, named sort, which we created earlier. It will be used to select the column, which you're sorting your table by. In the direction field, just enter the same expression, but change the get variable to, dear. It will be used to set a dynamic sort direction. Then, click the dynamic data picker for the condition. And select the get variable, named sort, here also. Now the sort will only be applied, when a column is selected. Click OK, when you are done. And save your server action. Then, open the app connect panel. Add new component. And under data. Select Server Connect. Select the server action, which we just created. You can see the two get variables, which we created in the server action. We should assign dynamic values to them. Select the app root, and add a new component. Note, this part is only related to dynamic sorting options, so you can skip it, if you don't need sorting options for your table. Open the State Management menu, and select Query Manager. And then define the query parameters. We need two query parameters, for both of the get variables in our server action. So we create two parameters, and assign to them the same names, as the get variables in the server action, sort, and dir. Click Save, when you are done. Now, in AppTree select the server connect component and bind dynamic data to both of the get variables. For the sort get variable, we select the sort query parameter. Then, for the dir get variable, we select the dir query parameter. Now, it's time to generate our table. Right click the element you want to insert the table into. Open the insert child menu. And under Generators, select Table Generator. Select your data source. This should be the database query, from our server action. Set up the table layout, and design options. Just enable the options you need. Then, enable the Sortable Headers option. And in the State Manager menu, select the Query Manager, which we created. Then, we select where to store the sort and order options. We store the sort option, in the query parameter, named, sort. And then, we store the order option, in the query parameter, named, dear. Edit the headers text as needed, or remove columns from your table. And click OK, when you are done. Let's preview the results. Data table can be sorted really easy, by clicking any of the table headers. That's how easy it is, to generate a sortable data table, using Bootstrap for Dynamic Table Generator.